Good morning, YouTube. I'm sorry about the last video, not showing the tattoo and whatnot, but it was covered up. I was super tired and everything, and I kind of want to leave it a little bit suspenseful for you. Yeah. But now I'm going to show you the tattoo, so here it is. This big blob of ink. So you're probably wondering why it looks like that. So I am going to make a tattoo aftercare video for you guys. Basically anybody who's just unsure about how to take care of a tattoo after you get one, if you're nervous, if you're thinking about getting one, not sure how to take care of it, or if you just wanna hear different ways to take care of it. I've had quite a few tattoos in my day, clearly, and I've learned the rights and the wrongs of how to treat your tattoo after you get it. And I've kind of fell into this routine where I piece together different things I've learned from different tattoo artists over the years into my, you know, one routine that I do. This one is exciting because I've never had this 3M medical grade Tagaderm tape. So this Tagaderm wound healing tape is kind of just a peel on and then peel off recovery system for any type of wound. And essentially a tattoo is a wound, so you can use it for your tattoo. You want to leave this stuff on for about 72 hours. I'm just over probably 30 hours now. I'm going to take it off tomorrow morning, I'm thinking, with you guys. So this is the first time I've used this. Apparently it speeds up the recovery process like no other. It's really, really nice. It's kind of expensive. It's pricey. Not a lot of tattoo artists have it on them. Mine did. So I really want to try it out and share with you guys my experience. As soon as I am able to take it off, which is tomorrow morning, I am going to show you guys how it comes off, show you guys what it looks like. And then I'm going to show you my normal routine, how I carry on treating my tattoo. And we're going to heal it together. So uh, I hope this really helps with some of you guys. If you're interested, keep watching. Yeah. So, oh yeah, if you're wondering what it is, it's a giant bird of prey. So it's going to be a huge thigh piece. Um, it's the bird's head. I can't wait to actually show you guys. There's going to be a snake here. Big snake, mouth open, tongue out. It's going to be all over. So we got a hole inside here. This goes pretty high. And this goes actually like near the tush, so it was a pretty touchy area. Wasn't the biggest fan of the back of the thigh, but there's gonna be a lot more work to have here. I'm excited to take you guys with me on the journey of this gigantic piece. It'll probably be one of my favorites in the end. So, let's treat this tattoo. What is up guys? Good morning. It is the day after yeah, yesterday. It's tomorrow. I just smashed a leg workout at the gym. Check out these new long sleeves by Rick Fit. How sick these are. They fit like a charm. So sick. I'm about to shower and I'm going to attempt to take this bandage off. Let's do it. All right guys, so check this out. Don't mind my hair, I just took my hat off. So cool. I had a killer leg workout and I guess some of the bandage that 3M tape I was telling you about yesterday peeled off, started with rolling back. I've never seen this, so check it out. It's like healed. This is healed. There's no, like, no, there's no scabbing, no bumps, no, like, it's, not, it's barely even raised. This stuff is like magic. So we're gonna see how it is. I'm gonna take it off in the shower really slowly under hot water. I'm gonna slowly peel it back. So it doesn't irritate the skin anymore or the tattoo itself. So I'm just gonna rinse it, peel it back, rinse it, peel back, and then I'll show you my process that I do after that. Full of stuff. Anyways, what's up? I threw a hat on because my hair is messy. I had a quick rinse off because I have to run to an optometrist appointment because I need glasses. I rinsed off quick in the shower. Obviously didn't film it because I'm in the shower. The first step after you peel off your bandage, in my case it was the 3M Tegaderm. The first step is going to be peeling it off slowly and then rinsing it with warm water. I rinse it with hot water, open up the pores. The next step is I use this stuff right here. So I opened a fresh lavender one, this is Coco Bella's. Uh, it's actual coconut meat scrub. It's very soft and the lavender scent's really soothing for your skin. I use that post tattoo all the time. I have like four more in my drawer. I use the lavender one for my tattoos, rub it on my hands. I don't rub the bar directly on my tattoo. And then I slowly rub it on the tattoo and then I rinse it off with hot water and then I pat to dry with a towel. That is step two and kind of three combined. Step four, I grab a blow dryer in the sink. This guy right here, low on my tattoo. All 
All right, so what the blow dryer is gonna do, put it on low heat, uh, it's easier with two hands, but I'm holding up the camera. Close the pores, heat up the skin just a little bit, and then my last and final step, which is something that you're gonna do and you're gonna repeat until the tattoo is fully healed and that little milky white layer is peeled off. I grab this, the same company, Coco Bellas, I swear by this stuff. This is extra virgin coconut oil, okay? This is organic. So the difference between this stuff and the stuff that you get at the store, the big jug, this is a little more expensive, but it is so much more worth it because the stuff you get in the store, it is called cold pressed coconut oil. Cold pressed coconut oil, they do heat it up to extract the water from the coconut oil so it is not full of all of the nutrients you can receive from coconut oil, the beneficial ones. This is centrifugal processed coconut oil. They don't heat it up whatsoever and it is the purest form of coconut oil there is that I've seen. Grab a bit of this, rub it in, so you instantly see the color pop. Rub it in, rub it in. Once you completely massage this coconut oil into your tattoo, you're good to go. You're free. Keep reapplying once it dries out. Sometimes I repeat the process of wetting it, heating it up with the blow dryer to close the pores, and then putting the coconut oil on. So guys, I really hope this helped you in any sort of way. This is how I heal a tattoo. This is the start of this one. So here it is. Let me show you in the mirror. Giant falcon. I love the start of a big piece. It just gets me so amped up. So guys, I really hope this helped you. If you have any concern or any questions about you know, coconut oil, I'll put the link in the description for that stuff. I swear by it, I use it for all of my tattoos. So worth it. And it lasts forever. You can use it with cooking in your hair, your skin, whatever, right? Give that a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, share this with your friends. Anybody who wants to know about tattoos or how to heal or just thinking of getting a tattoo or if they just want to see a guy in a tiny bathing suit. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video, guys.